Carpe diem. Who knows what that means? That seize the day. Seize the day. When do we live life to its fullest? When do we truly seize the day? Is it when we go on a vacation or when we eat our favorite food? We've long grappled with this question and only now are we nearing an answer. This is day four of walking 250 kilometers from Lisbon to the end of the world. For each kilometer walk, our journey has only gotten tougher, yet paradoxically more fulfilling. We have 160 kilometers left and today is the part we feel the most. What's up my boys? Today we're starting the video in a car, which makes no sense when we said we wanted to walk to the Algarve. So what's happening, Jon? The problem is that Portuguese people are annoyingly friendly. The, the thing is we have 40 kilometers to Porto Covo and... Um, it was supposed to only be 30, but you arranged a lunch which is a detour of seven kilometers. Anyway, from lunch bud, we have another 20 kilometers. <laughs> I was thinking if you have time, you know, you, we could go to Sacrish today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank yes. You, uh, and really means a lot with it. Ciao. We're back on the road. On the road again. What? It was almost a crash. I was doing a video uh, I was sending to the guy we're meeting for lunch. And as I was filming, I almost uh, filmed a crash. A black car was overtaking two cars and then there was a red Porsche coming against us. And it just barely uh, got in between two cars that it was trying to take over. This road here is just, I mean, even we have a shoulder here, so it's, uh, we have lots of space, but they drive so fast that they probably need this shoulder. Right now, a guy is driving the shoulder yawn this is a bad idea we should have just gotten a lift all the way guys we wanted to walk for you guys and now we're doing it and we will not die i think seizing the day is definitely not about risking your life but some level of risk and uncomfortableness has to be involved as cheesy as it may sound this walk here makes us feel alive but is feeling alive the same as seizing the day good news guys we are taking a left turn if this was the road to the Algarve, I would be like, no, we're not, it's too unsafe. But we're only one and a half kilometers uh, away from the restaurant. What a cute house. You're free. You're free. Yes. No more dangerous highways. Let's go. Yeah. Happiness in a poodle. We have to cross some train tracks. How perfect was that? I have zero energy today and I feel like I really want to be on top of this video. But we are almost at the um, lunch bud and it's such a contrast, you know, we walk on the busy highway and then suddenly we're just embraced by nature. The oranges on all these trees are literally, if they could talk, they would say, squeeze me. Altino do Lobo. Hey, Pete! Good to see you. I'm kind of used to the camera. I'm, I'm so sweaty. I'll, That's okay. I'll, okay, That's okay. okay. <laughs> Good to see you. I'm Gosha. 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 Nice to meet Hi. you, Emilia. Emilia. So nice to meet so you. So nice guys. to meet you. Why? Thank you for meeting us here in the middle of nowhere. Of course. <laughs> it was such a funny story. My husband said, you know, I was cycling and I met these guys. You're walking to the Algarve. Yeah, that's why we have the stroller for... With the, the dog in the stroller. I was like, what? Like, that's but there's all. no baby in it. No, no. baby. <laughs> this is Cleo. And this is Ray. And, and Ray. they had a little fight in the car, so oh, Ray is not oh, happy. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> and you live here now. This yes, is your we home? Live here. Yes. yes. Why, 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 why uh, Lentecio? Why Portugal? So we used to live in Thailand for four years. Our two daughters were born in Bangkok. <laughs> and after four years, we decided it's time for us to get back to Europe and to be closer to our family and friends. And we decided to take a leap of faith and um, move to Portugal because we love the ocean, we love the nature, the food, here. But you have problems with the boas on yes. your land and now yes. you're eating them, right? I found a solution. One of his feet, she had a good time. We're getting another lift, but we said only a few kilometers because we have to walk, you know, otherwise you guys are going to complain that we're not actually walking so you, to Algarve. I'm going to let you pick the route. Yeah. Because the problem with Google is sometimes there's dirt roads. 
Ah. So you have to decide how much risk you want to take on the route. I'm going to leave that in your hands. <laughs> if there's no Google Street View, you know it's a gravel yes. road. <laughs> how are you, Amelia? Well, um, you know what? I'm freaking comfortable. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm leading you to off-road here. No, I'm very happy. <laughs> we are one big happy family. This is actually the kind of Valentia that we, we love the oh, most. This is why I moved here. Yeah, yeah. You got a good meal, you yes. got new friends. And and this is hitchhiking. This is hitchhiking. It's hitchh it, it, is, it is hitchhiking. And we, we were supposed to take a bus actually from Comporte to uh, Sinus. Yes. Because it's too dangerous. Ah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. But we did it anyway. We walked most of it. Oh, thank you so much. It's so awesome to meet you. You too. And I wish you good luck. All thank the you. best. Only like good yeah. encounters. Thank you good so to meet you, mate. We'll, we'll be in you. touch. Uh, yeah, yeah we'll definitely. Ciao. And then we're on our own again. When I think about how many friends we make on this trip here, it's amazing. You know, friendships and community, that, those are simply just two keywords for uh, happiness in, in life. And um, speaking of happiness, we are south of Cenis now, which is marked by these atrocious power plants here. But we have 11 kilometers from here to uh, Porto Covo. And after that, guys, we promise you no more lifts, okay. right? Okay. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> As the title of our last video suggests, life starts outside your comfort zone. And I think this notion is an important link to what it means to truly seize the day. How can we ever follow our dreams if we're not able to remove the fear and uncertainty from our mindset? It's so easy to not do the risky and uncomfortable thing, but yet in the very end, also the hardest one. YouTube for us is definitely not a bed of roses. Constant uncertainty and long stretches of low views make us question everything we do, but then at the same time, what is the alternative? This is what we love doing, and we'd rather make an effort to seize our dream and eventually, maybe, fail, than give up and go for a less volatile way of life. makes me miss the mainland so much because the beaches are incredible. <laughs> we have only walked for three kilometers. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, this is where it starts to become really exciting for me and Amelia because, and Lara, because we have beautiful nature to look at as we walk towards Cabo Vicente, which is the end of Ruta Vicentina, which we're also starting here. So Ruta Vicentina or Costa Vicentina is probably one of the most unknown but yet most beautiful uh, nature uh, natural areas of Portugal. And now we are on the hard the hardcore path, you know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I I cannot use my brain anymore. You need help like with those female nails. What? I have no I have main male <laughs> <laughs> The only thing you can do is one step ahead like a carpenter who makes stairs. It is just fantastic how we used to travel in, in one way, which was like kind of fancy, you know? And this time when you travel the way we do, we have very different encounters with people. We really get to experience the human kindness in a different level. Like people are just so freaking kind. Is it good to be on the beach? Yeah, yeah, that way you go. <laughs> so, with nine kilometers to go, we were on cloud nine. But that cloud dissipated just as fast as it appeared. We thought the road would be a lot better here, but turns out uh, traffic is quite heavy. And cars are going in both directions, non-stop. I was so euphoric that we got here. It's like, yes, the hard part is over. How's it going, Amelia? It's going fine. I'm like going into the grass all the time and people are not okay with this. Everyone that's coming in our direction is like shouting and filia cursing. Da puta. Yeah, one guy said filia da puta to me. I was like, do you talk to the baby or do you talk to me? This is so sketchy. We don't walk very fast. Every 30 seconds, we have to go inside the grass really fast. It's also Saturday afternoon. Everyone is going to the oh, beach. Oh, it's because it's weekend. Porto! Porto! How are you feeling about this? I am this more is scared than I've sketchy. been. This is fucking sketchy. I can hear it coming from the
I think seizing the day is about making lasting memories. Maybe being an idiot isn't the best approach, but if you can remember your life in vivid details, you probably also seized it. What are we doing with our lives? We are missing it right now. This is f***ed up, you. Because we are food for worms, lads. I know, but we can't really take an Uber, can we? Because believe it or not, each and every one of us in this room is one day going to stop breathing. Turn cold and die. I'd like you to step forward over here and peruse some of the faces from the past. You've walked past them many times, but I don't think you've really looked at them. They believe they're destined for great things, just like many of you. Their eyes are full of hope. Did they wait until it was too late to make from their lives even one iota of what they were capable? Because you see, gentlemen, these boys are now fertilizing daffodils. If you listen real close, you can hear them whisper their legacy to you. Go on, lean in. You hear it? <clears throat> There's a guy here hitchhiking. Hello. Bo. 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 And Bo is walking from Lisbon as well. Yeah. Well, hitchhiking. No, no, I'm walking with you guys. Yeah, thank you. I like you. the idea. How are you doing in there? Everybody thinks you're a baby. Look, guys, we're almost one big happy family now. She walked up to me and she asked me to dance I asked her her name and in a dark brown voice she said hello Pedestrian road set We are in Porto Kobo Honestly, this has been the most challenging uh, trip uh, this, the, These 10 kilometers God damn, it feels good to be a gangster How beautiful is it here? We've been here four years ago and actually right at, right during lockdown we went here in a getaway cabin and we fell in love with Porto Covo. So this is just like the quintessential of authentic Portugal just sprinkled and marinated in nature. Mm. I wonder what we're having for dinner. Are you gonna really sleep on the beach? <laughs> yeah, I did it also. When we met, we were coming from the beach, we slept there. Really? Yeah. Wow. It was a little bit loud. Yeah, it's a bit more quiet, I think, because the waves are so big. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's nature's but uh, soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice to meet Bye. you, man. Yeah. Well, hug it out. Man. <laughs> it yeah. was so nice meeting you. Is that your girlfriend? No way! Am I beautiful? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we made it. We actually walked on that sketchy road and we made new friends again. Guys, it was so nice to meet you. Does. But we made it to our Airbnb here, and uh, what a view! What a view! I mean, it's incredible. The, the, that road really. That was sketchy. It almost got the best of me. I know. If that is the same tomorrow, all the way to Villanova Milfons. We have a problem. But oh, quick house tour: toilet, bedroom, kitchen, living room. The neighbor has a party. What a day, and um, we're just checking the, the Googles, 
the Google Maps and we are actually halfway to the end of the world. I was very stressed today walking and I am really praying to have better conditions tomorrow. But now I'm gonna try my pizza and eat it with good consciousness and um, <laughs> see you tomorrow. See you guys. Thank you.